Hello, World Wide Web. Welcome back to the Hanging With Web Show. I'm G.W. Pomacher. We are here in Orlando, Florida at the International Christian Film and Music Festival here on World Famous International Drive. We're hanging out right now with Pastor Marcus Diaz, who brought with him Spirit Farm of the Spirit. Yes. No, wait, Fruit Farm, Farm of, of the, the spirit. spirit. See, I'll get that right. Fruit Farm of the Spirit. Pastor, thanks for hanging out yes. with us, man. Thanks oh, for coming yes. over. Uh, we had a little slow start, got a little tech, tech, technical issues here, but we're, we're on track now. Yes. So, Fruit Farm of the Spirit. Yes. What? Yes. What is this? Well, fruit what, is, this is a this is by this is a buffet for your kids, guys. There's, there's a lot going on here. So yes, yeah, so, what we got? Well, fruit farm of the spirit is uh, the mission God gave us is to plant the seed of Jesus Christ in the hearts and mind of His youngest children. The vision came from God. The mission is to plant the seed, and what we did was we the the vision was used Galatians 5:22 and 5:23, and it speaks about the nine fruits of the spirit. So what we did was we took the attributes of God and we made characters and threw them into cyberspace and used augmented reality to make the books come alive and disciple your children by giving them char character. Wow. I always Yes, I always teach the children that your gift can get you in, in, in the room, but your character what keeps you in the room. That's just like Jesus Christ. You couldn't get him out the room because he has so much character. So what we do is, is principle-based core values to empower your child to walk with character. And that's what Fruit Farm of the Spirit is uh, doing right now. Wow, that's, that's, that's a lot of books. Yes. Okay, so when you start here on top, what are we, what are we, what are this we looking is, at? Well, this is Luke, the lemon full of love. We teach the love of Christ through Luke because without love, there's nothing. And he's well, that's the fruit of God is love and the rest come out of love. That's a good way to start. Then this is Josh, the jelly bean of joy. We teach the joy of Christ through him. He's the only one that's not a fruit, but he's a fruit jelly bean. He's a jelly bean. Yes. <laughs> this is Paul, the peach of peace. We teach the peace of Christ through him because Jesus Christ is the Prince of Peace. And we just teach the children to have peace. This is Pe Petey. Peaceful peaches. <laughs> this All is right. Petey. I'm, I'm trying to keep up here. This All is right. Petey, the, the, patient, the pineapple of patience. He's the, far, he's the surfer. He's always the one praying to get the right wave and teaching children how to, to have patience. This is Caleb. Of patience. This is Caleb. The, the alliteration here is going to kill me. I'm not. Even, I can't even keep up with this. All right. So okay. So this is the. This is Caleb, the Kiwi of kindness. He's the farmer out of the crew. He's always the one to teach the children to plant the seed because God said He'll give seed to the sower, and He's always empowering the kids to cultivate the word. This is Gideon, the the grape of goodness. He's the one that I love the most because he's the one that teaches the kids to put the full armor of God on. And he's always teaching the children that the goodness of the Lord takes every man to repentance. This is Philip, the fig of faithfulness. He's the sports guy. He's the one that's always telling the kids that to take care of yourself. The body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. The fig of faithfulness. Yes. He had a lot of fun with this. Yes, we see, did. See, look at him smile. He had a lot of fun with this. This is Johnny, the green apple gentleness. He's the worship leader out of the crew. He's always teaching the children to worship the Lord at all times because of the formula that always works. And this is everybody's favorite, Sarah, the strawberry self-control. She's the only girl out of the crew, but she's the one that teaches the girls that you're the daughter of a king, that you're smart, and you got to have self-control. There it is, man. <laughs> The only girl out of the group, keeping the boys in line, because <laughs> yeah. that's what they do. That's yes. what they do back on the block, too. Y yes. Yes. So, oh, man, where did this come from, man? What, you it was, just sort of, no, you know, it was, you, uh, I know you, you're a pastor and you're teaching all the time. Yes. And it, as a part of that teaching, what, what made you decide, you know, get together with everybody and decide this, is, this was the way to go? It's I mean, because I know they're loving it. I see that. I see the, we love these, by the way. Every writer in the world loves themselves a sticker that says Amazon bestseller. Yeah. But when you see that, you know that the readers are loving it. The parents, yes. moms, dads, and the kids are loving it. Yes. Was there a moment that you just felt that, that this this was going to work, this was good for the kids? What, what made you want to do this? Is um, as, a, as a pastor and uh, dealing with children, I guess that um, just the character, I, as me coming in to, as into the body of Christ, I knew God called me, but at the same time, I, uh, I didn't have the character that I needed to, and so God was always molding me, but I started late. So we wanted to empower the kids young, so we get them young, get them in a relationship with Christ, because the seed is incorruptible. We could teach them and empower them from a young age that they don't have to go the past that we did because they know right from wrong from a young age and they're empowered to walk with character and love. And that's just the key to walk with the fruit of God. And 
Now, have you, since the kids have been reading these and, and mom and dad's have been buying them and, and taking them home, have you got a chance to talk to the kids? Do these characters resonate with the kids? What are they, oh, what are they from saying? my experience, oh, they love them. They, they, they fall in love with the characters. And that's what's, it's a blessing to see that uh, uh, God's vision come to flourish by him showing us that we started this three years ago and now we're just out and it's just seeing it manifest what the father had told us. And it's a- That's an amazing, an amazing gift yeah. to be able to see the work that you've done yes. come back to you. In, in, in the faces of these kids that are looking at these kids, favorite character, man, what, what, who do the kids all go for? Um, it's always out of love, because Luke you, it is, he's just a, like the star out of him, Luke the lemon full of love, uh -huh. or Sarah the strawberry self-control. It's always in the beginning and the end, just like Jesus Christ says, I'm the alpha, the mega, the beginning, the end. Those two books and the characters, kids love them. So kids just go crazy yes. with those two characters, huh? Um, is there a character in here that's struggling? The kids are like, what? Really? I don't, not they, really. They not engage really? through all of them, but yeah. them are my two favorites besides Gideon. Uh -huh. And he's the warrior, and he's always teaching people how to be the warrior and show and to put on Christ and put the full armor of God on. Now this journey started three years ago, you three said. Three years okay. ago. Okay. Um, was that when you started writing them or is that when you first published? No, we first published, but we came together three years ago and um, Wednesday was the first day debut to bring it out. This, this debuted Wednesday? Yes, but two years ago. Wednesday, we, like this past Wednesday? Yes. Like, that was like... I'm, three days ago, yeah. Resurrection Life. <laughs> okay, so wait, three days ago this came... <laughs> Now, now, now that now that makes sense. She's got the card up there. Just tell us about the sticker. Three yes. days, Amazon number no, one bestseller. We ended up putting um, each of our books went on eBooks two years ago. Today marks the two years. They just sent me the picture of Amazon. We launched every book for one week, and each book in 24 hours hit number one bestselling book in Amazon. That is yes. fantastic. Yes, through eBooks. And e that's how you know you're on the right track. Yes, it, and it, now we ideas. have them without the augmented reality. Now I'm just gonna see what God does now. <laughs> yeah, well, I tell you what, Michael, where's Cosplay Michael? Where's Cosplay Michael? Co come here. Cosplay Michael. We have your target audience, Pastor. All yes. right, come on, sit down. All right, take a look at these. What do you think, what, what are you thinking about these books? What, what do you, give, give it a look, okay? That's your target audience right there. Cosplay yes. Michael, you're gonna give us a little book review here, so we want you to go through and tell me what you think of these characters. What do you think, man? See, facial expressions do it all. You know? That's a grape, that's right, very good. That's a fig. Yeah, he's a fig, that's what Oh, he's a fig, that's right, okay. And uh, the grape the... of goodness, this guy, what is he? What is he? Yeah, well read it first. And then, the best way to do it is with the words. I know that, that's, you know, it's all right. So, all right, three years ago you guys get together, you get this thing out there, you get the ebook out there. Yes. You get number one, number one, number yes. one, over and over again. Um, now you're in hard copy and you're making the rounds, yes. getting these in the hands of the kids, right? Yes. So, what to you has been, what was that moment when you just felt like you had it? This was something that, that, that was going to work. I mean, it's, you know what, it, it, you know, being here at the Christian Film Festival, and we hear this a lot, that, um, that our creator speaks to us when we least expect it sometimes. Yes. But as a writer and somebody put, pouring your heart into your message, Yes. There's that moment when he speaks to you the most. Yes. There's a moment when he says, it's going to work. All that work and all that toil is going to work. Yeah. When was that for you? Well, it's just started to dawn on me because the Bible says that God chooses the foolish thing to confine the wise. I would have never thought in my past that I would be, we would be doing children's books and being a CEO of an augmented reality book that comes to life to empower kids. It just, when it came and then the scripture came and I was, I guess I was a foolish thing, but now I'm a, it, God's going to use me to bring his wisdom. So I was just like, okay, Lord, and it just been a ride from there on. And That is amazing. Yeah. And congratulations on all of the accolades. Congratulations on reaching the kids. And I mean, what? It, there's no more important message uh, if you're a storyteller, resonating with the people who are hearing your stories yeah. is important. Making sure they hear that human truth inside those stories yeah. is even more important. Start with them when they're this little yeah. and give them that love of learning and love of reading. Yes. When they're that size. And, and make them appreciate the the, the virtues that yeah. are out there. Yes. Because that's what we try to teach our kids we, as, we, as we're raising them. We try to teach them to be the best form of themselves. Yes. And you're already doing that. Um, oh, okay. Uh, thank you. Internet, thank you. 
Uh, okay, so where can people find you and the hardcovers now uh, yes. moving up the road? Well, you can go to Fruit Farm of the Spirit dot my shopify dot com and you can purchase it online and we have it right there that you can, you can buy the whole package that's it comes a lot of dots and a lot of dot com so we're going to go ahead and put the link down in the description so all you got to do is click and go and buy yes and get the collect it's a box